Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is turn your nose into how can I's. Over to you, Lori Grenier. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. To me, an entrepreneur is somebody who will do whatever it takes. Right. They're driven. They um, are A-type personalities. They it's like they don't know the word no. And that's always been my mantra. I know no no's, just how right. can I? So when I see that person, I know that no matter what, even if they have to pivot, you know, which is something that happens. Maybe this isn't the best idea, but something else is, and you're gonna change it. They're still gonna make it because they have what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. So I don't necessarily agree that every entrepreneur needs to be a type A personality, but you do need to be resourceful. I think it's one of the most consistent things about entrepreneurship is you have to learn to be resourceful. You're going to get a lot of no's. Expect it. There's this great clip of Sylvester Stallone where he says that he loves the word no because it means yes. <laughs> Challenge. I really just, I, I just, I just love, I love it. You know, I love being told no. Gotcha. It just means yes. A lot of people are afraid of no's. A lot of people are afraid of rejection. And for that reason, a lot of people have great ideas, can do amazing things. You've got this genius thing inside you that never gets out there because you got one no. And a lot of people turn into the person who then, because they got their one no and they never took that bet on themselves, then they had to pull everybody else down around them. And so what I want you to do is fast forward to the end of your life, think about where you're at and think about you not executing this idea. Think about you having not taken the action that you want to take and what that feels like to have how many years and 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 years, and years of regret not having done the thing that you're supposed to do and is it worth it? Whenever I'm afraid, whenever I get a no, whenever I feel down, that's what I try to do. If I continue to live thinking like this, imagine what I'm gonna be when I'm 150 looking back on my life, wishing that I had taken one more shot, wishing I'd done a little, 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 tiny bit more. So expect no's, embrace the no's. Don't be defeated by the no's. Get excited by a no. Because after the no, if you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again, you're eventually going to get the yes that you deserve. So the question today, today is, I'm curious, what is the most resourceful thing you've ever had to do in your business? Leave it in the comments below. I'm curious to find out. I also want to give a quick shout out to Gregory Gomes. Gregory, thank you so much for picking up a copy of my book, Your One Word. It really means a lot to me, man, and I hope you're enjoying the read. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of Espresso. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. Well, I've launched in the last 16 years 400 new products and I have 115 patents. People going through this now have a lot of options. You have uh, fundraising sites like Kickstarter, you have little online marketplaces like Etsy. Do you recommend that people use these to sort of test out their products? I think a lot of people don't trust their gut enough. I think a lot of people want somebody to hold their hand through the process. <laughs> and really, that's not the best way. There's no special formula that's right for every single person. You have to s decide, do you like Kickstarter? Do you feel that's right for you? Or, you know, people have other ways in which to do things. So I think it's know your options. It's true though, I'm a woman in business, so are you, right. and it's great because they're different personalities, successful, be yourself take care of business. Be yourself. Go for it, yes. get out there. But um, it, it can be bumpy along the way. Any regrets or mistakes that you feel you've um, kind of hit through the years? Well, you know, I share certain bumps that I've had in the mm -hmm. book. I think that, you know, I don't like to look back. There are no mistakes, really. Everything is a learning lesson. Mm -hmm. Everything helps you to do better. Right. So I talk about some of the mistakes that I made, and it just helps you to get further along, learn from those mistakes, and get smarter. True feeling is this. No matter who you are, no matter what age you are, no matter the time in your life, if you have a dream and you have the drive, you can make anything happen. And if you are ever feeling down or feeling like you can't get over that hump or you just have a bad day, I pledge.
play this song, and you remember this song, okay? Here it goes. 